Greetings everyone, this is First Centurion 753 with the second episode of Erebor, the quest for the Mountain Man, Mountain Man Achievement. Last episode we uh, had the first year of our settlement, well not the complete year, we are in late autumn and the snowfall has begun. Okay, I want to get my professions up there, just want to be able to see what's going on there. I think I have a bunch of people collecting iron, so hopefully the iron stockpile will increase. That's what we're hoping for. Plenty of food, still got potatoes, and it is winter. Year one, we still have the potatoes. Early winter. Okay, so we've got a good amount of firewood, I think that's the limit of firewood that can be cut. We've got a good amount of food. I think Hope Each Home has food. They've got a nice variety there. That's the newest home. They were able to stock up. There's a variety. That's a big family. Do we have a birth? We are up to 15. That's amazing. Um, how did that happen? Wow. All of them. Four children in late autumn. Okay. That's what happens when you build homes. Put people in homes. They have kids. Tight quarters. Especially late autumn is getting cold and you know, you gotta snuggle up. Actually, no, that would have been months before. But in this game, age and time are a little weird. FYI, um, every year for these people is actually six months. Three months. So every three months they get a year older. So this child will be one year old in the spring. There is a mod that exists to put people at their actual age, but again, you can't get the achievements if you're using that mod. At least that's what I'm told. If anyone has different information, please feel free to let me know. Because I have, I love the Colonial Charter mod, again, that's my favorite. Looks like we're getting some of this iron out here, good, we need to stockpile the iron, because uh, the next thing on the building list is going to be... Well, we need a Forester's Lodge, actually. That's one. But I also want to build a blacksmith. And we're going to have to build a blacksmith soon, because that's hurting. I think blacksmith might be... right now, actually. Okay, where's the blacksmith? Should be in there. Okay. Rotate. Yeah, right up there. Is that where I want it? It's right up close and personal with the homes. Let's give a little space. That's a lot of stone. I don't have enough stone for that. So we're gonna have to gather some stone and some firewood. And guess what? It just happens to be right there. Stone and firewood are both right there. The logs and the firewood. That should be enough logs. And I don't think that's going to be enough stone. But there is stone right over there. Hopefully that's enough for the blacksmith. We've cleared out our little island here, or peninsula, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that peninsula has been cleared for settlement. There's still deer wandering around. Clear out the rest of this. This must be Arabor, the lonely mountain. Not too lonely. But that's where we're going to start our mines. There's no mithril in there, but there will be iron and there will be coal, which we need. Very valuable to us. Midwinter, and our numbers, food storage looks good. Catch a fish. And we are gathering. Roots, berries, and other things. Yeah, there we go. Keep chopping that wood, buddy. Gotta keep them warm. But you do need enough logs for... Cut 
this tree down. Okay, fishermen, lots of fish coming in. How much are you making there? Alright, 396 fish caught this year. That's not bad. That's like more than a fish a day. And since we built it mid year, it's like more than two fish a day almost. Okay, fish, 400 fish, beautiful. I love it. Log reserve is low. That's because this guy keeps chopping. But the homes need to stay warm. At least through the winter. They're at, he's at the max now, he's gonna stop. But we need more logs. Those are logs. Drop them off. Okay, four more logs. Ooh, you got some berries. Dill? Dillis? Oh, that's iron. Carrying berries. I just drop them off. I oh, drop them off there. Okay. Late winter of year one, and we've almost survived the winter here. Lots of iron. Good. Tons of iron. We need that iron. We need 32 to build the blacksmith. But we'll need. The rest of it for the um, for the um, tools that they're gonna have to build. They also need logs for the tools as well. And I think most of my laborers are probably still. I don't have any builders. I need one builder. Most of my laborers over here collecting that iron. That's a lot of iron to collect. I might. Uh, Halt on some of it. It's pretty far. The fish are real close, so that's coming in quickly. That's good. Fifty fish in that home. Ten fish in that home. These homes look pretty well stocked. If they're well stocked and it's late winter, then it's a good sign. 100 potatoes, still. And there's still potatoes in the storage cart. That's also a good sign because that was one of the first food items. So that means we've brought in enough variety of food that they haven't uh, exhausted the original amount. best way to use to position these. Ah, well look at that quick transition. I, I don't like that. I like when they do a slow transition from seasons to seasons. Alright, the stockpile is just now, what we have is iron. We don't have enough stone. That means that I should probably cancel some of these removals. Cancel that. And cancel that. Let's just go get the stone and the, the logs that we need. Just stocked up on iron. Here we go. Better. Go after this stuff. Well, he has to clear this stuff out. No logs. There's some logs. Okay. Two. We need more than that. Okay, bringing over some iron. Hopefully we'll have enough iron. Two more pieces of iron. We got stone coming in. We need 50 pieces of stone.
They've got interesting names, these people. What's my health? My health is uh, still pretty good. Clothing's fair. I got an iron tool. They are educated. They start off educated. Interesting. You need to build a school for the new people to be educated, but your original settlers are educated. That means that if you don't build a school and keep people uneducated, then you will your productivity will diminish. Because educated people are more productive than uneducated people in this game. And I would hope in real life, but you never know. Five homes of Erebor. Sixteen people. Population's doing well for the first year. This is now year two. Well, it was year two with the early spring, sorry. Alright, the woodcutter seems to be... Not busy. So I might just make him a uh, laborer. Get the rest of that stuff. There's another laborer. We have six laborers. Wow. Here. We need more stone. Where's the stone? It's already marked off. Even that's marked off. This stuff I think is marked off too, right? Yeah. Let's so clear that out too. And this. Because next we need a Forester's Lodge. And I think we we're planning on putting it right about there. We got five laborers. The Forester's Lodge is good because it maintains the forest by planting trees, but it also cuts trees down from time to time. Ensuring an influx of logs for the woodcutter to produce firewood. And from my understanding, each log produces three pieces of firewood, I think, to cut it in threes. I think so. From what I've observed, I think that's the uh, correct ratio. Okay, so springtime and the food is down. The food's going to be the lowest in the springtime. Because uh, there's not going to be any work done, really. Less work done in the winter to get the food. So it's really the summer. Um, spring and summer and autumn. Especially the autumn when you start planting crops is when you uh, gather, increase your food numbers. So it should be greatest. Your food sh uh, numbers should probably be greatest in late autumn and least in probably early spring, I'd say. So we want to bring this up start gathering. We need more stone. We're not going to make any moves until we get the stone. I don't want to build a road out there. It'll take too long. Five more pieces of stone. How's our tools looking? still have five tools stored. That's a problem. Once you get down to zero tools, if they don't have tools, they're not going to be as productive either. So, and I've lost games, basically. I've lost entire populations because I ran out of tools before. So, because once they stop being productive, then other things start being damaged. Like, you don't bring in as much food, and you can't build things as quickly, and, you know, you can't, you can't do things without uh, tools. So, need the tools. That's like, after the food and the uh, warmth, the next most important thing is tools. I would think. I think something along those lines. Food is down, late spring. Okay, we've got enough stone. I'm gonna go ahead and up my food producers by one each. I want an extra fisherman and an extra gatherer. And so last season they brought in nine a little over a little over I don't think I have nine hundred a little over eight hundred food. And 
fisher leg. 462 fish. Alright, the current season will be more because you'll have a full year. Reduce yourself and a couple of workers there. This looks good. Alright, the log stockpile is going up. We're going to maintain that for now. We're going to wait for the firewood to go below 200 to put the uh, woodcutter back in his shop. But we are going to need a blacksmith right off the bat. And we probably will need iron right off the bat. Blacksmith. Very good. Where is my blacksmith? There he is. Start. And give me that iron. And the forest are locked. I think this is the location I wanted. This looks like a good location. Before I do that, let's just make sure the road fits. And right along that road, the Forester Lodge. That looks beautiful. Perfect. Okay, so we've got uh, the blacksmith just in the nick of time. And um, now the Forester needs 32 logs, and then we can put the uh, woodcutter back in the business after that. Eleven adults. Twelve adults, we can have another home. Right now, <clears throat> no point in another home. We gotta wait till we get to twelve adults. You can keep track of... Uh, you can anticipate when you're gonna bring in a labor force. That's a good thing to do. How many laborers are you gonna bring in in the next year? And, uh, you have to look at the children their age. And it looks like I'm not bringing anybody in, because they're all two and three. But again, remember, you go up four years per year. So it's going to be a while, actually. So no new homes for a while. Wow. And the food storage is back up in early summer. Best thing would be just to stockpile food and firewood for now. And tools as well. They're down to two tools. front of the building because there will be tools laying out there. And there's two tools laid out there right now. Okay, so that's good. There, we're just about at the cusp here. It's almost, we're almost over, over the ledge. You know the other thing could be? That might be good? Is a storage barn. Storage barn is going to go right there. After the Forester's Lodge, it's going to be Storage Barn and uh, Trade Post. And when we get the Trade Post, then things are really going to get cool because we'll start bringing in new items. We can deal in some economics, some commerce. This up, clean this up a little bit. Put that down there. That's not bad. Okay. Just want to see. My stones here are still marked to be cut. And I've only got two laborers, so it's going to take a while to do everything that I'm asking. Reserve of tools is low. We're down to one. Come on, guy. We got one laying out there. Two laying out there. Good. Get 
those tools in the storage cart. There are no tools. Out of tools. We're okay with iron, we're okay with logs, so we should be able to keep producing tools. They just gotta put the tools in the storage cart. There's two right there. Good, plenty. I saw some bigger tools. Put it in the cart. Yes, two tools. Good. I don't think we need the limit to be 50, we'll make the limit 40. Especially since we're short on iron this game. The iron mine is another option. We don't have enough workers for all these things. Our population needs to go up. Forest just have to clear out the area here. We should have enough food coming in to satisfy the population. Probably even go a little quicker here. I don't like going quicker though. Here's Main Street. Busy town. Busy settlement. Find that blacksmith shop, see how he's doing. Ooh, there it is. Eleven tools. Beautiful. Operational. Now the last game I had tons of iron. The last mountain man attempt that I made. Which I didn't fail. Uh, I just decided uh, actually I recorded some of it and the sound was just way too off, so I didn't feel like going back. I had to lower the volume on the game because it was drowning out my voice, but uh, this one sounds a little better. Keep it coming. Our stockpiles look like they're going up. A lot of stone. We are going to need more iron. This stone has been cleared out. There's iron down there. Whoa, look at the storage car. Okay, time to build a storage barn. Right there. Looks good. Let's 
basically the town, with the exception of the uh, gatherers. Up. Storage barn, only one person, and look how quickly that got built. We're out of logs. Oh, that's a problem. first wow look at the food huge amount of food you know what I think we're good with food I want to replenish my uh, labor population they've collected plenty of food this year alright fish is gonna double easy and the gatherer's hut is... Yeah, they might double, yeah. They had a lot of mushrooms. Lots of roots last year. More roots this year. Okay. Early winter. Year two. We've got plenty of food, but not a lot of firewood. The homes have firewood. That one does. That one's got a lot. A good amount. Not a lot there. And a good amount there. Okay, so we definitely need more logs. So, until we build that forester's lodge, I'm going to say cut the rest of these trees. The storage cart, that's a good thing I was looking at that level because it's gonna it's getting a little out of control there. It's already overflown slightly. You can also see the numbers in the stockpile right here. Yeah, so you don't need to look at the stockpile. You don't need that panel up really. Unless you're concerned with capacity, but nowhere near that. Capacity of storage cart I am concerned with. And I need this barn. One more log. I hear a tree. These trees? Nice. Nice. Carrying anything there? No. Come on. Pick stuff up. There you go. This guy. These guys are carrying logs. Five logs. That'll work. Got three builders. Should be somebody available to bring those logs to the storage barn. Logistics is important in these games. You gotta pay attention to how people are moving stuff around. And there might be something blocking. Um, iron tools is up to capacity now. Got a little bit of iron reserve. It's good that it'll stop growing because that'll stop the uh, expanding capacity. Or the shrinking capacity, sorry. Alright, we've got all the tools necessary for. we all, all the resources necessary for the storage barn. The Forester's Lodge is suffering with resources. Right, let's see how quickly this guy moves. No, he didn't do much there. No, he's still working. that worker over. Finish the storage bar quickly. Firewood's low. Food is way up there. Midwinter food is the highest it's ever been. I can probably drop the fishermen first because they're close. Really 
Are you not marked to be cut? How that? Cut down those trees. And these should be getting cut down as well. Until we get that forester's lodge, we gotta depend on our laborers. Thirty-two. Plus, we need to support the woodcutter, with the firewood, which is diminishing as the year goes on. Harvest all these trees as we sink into the winter. I'm wondering if that road would have been beneficial. Plenty of stone. With this large, there's a storage barn. Nice. Okay, we don't have to worry about storage capacity. I'm good. Now, with all this stone, I'm wondering do I want to build stone homes? Which will be warmer and won't cost as much firewood. We're not going for that just yet. The one thing I would have to have for that is a boarding house, and that costs a lot because I mean, you need to put the people somewhere while they're rebuilding homes. Unless you do that in the summer. I don't think that's priority, though. Uh, this has gone into the deep winter, and I usually don't do that with the episode. So, we are going to end this episode. Looks like we're going to make it. I think we're going to make it. The firewood. Um, through the winter of year two. So, in year three, hopefully we'll have a Forester's Lodge. Let's up that. And, uh, maybe start building a trade post. I have to decide where I'm going to put the trade post. Got our storage barn. Okay. That should be enough for this episode. Thanks again for watching. Uh, have a good night.